Once you have the Lakeview app installed on your phone and you launch it, you're taken to the home screen. On the home screen, you will see a number of options presented to you where you can see a sermon, request prayer, uh, view a directory, which I'll get back to in a later video, give or contact the office. Scrolling through those options, let's say you select the sermon option. The sermon option, you can view a live stream of the sermon, such as the one coming up on Sunday, or previous sermons. To go back to the home screen, there's a left-facing arrow on the top left that you click on. And to navigate to other screens, there are icons across the bottom that you can select. So for example, if you want to see your upcoming events, you would select that. The events are populated and you can tap on any one of the events and get more details about that particular event. And again, going back to the event screen by tapping on the arrow on the top left. <clears throat> the Bible option is gives you access to read several versions of the Bible. You can also select uh, the chapter, the book of the Bible that you want to read. So let's say, for example, I want to read a different book of the Bible, such as Ruth. I select that and then Ruth chapter 1. I can go through and read through that. Uh, by swiping, I can go on to the next chapter, Ruth chapter 2. The NIV version of the Bible that's part of the application also has a audio version available. By clicking on the arrow icon, you can bring up the audio version and listen to it, if that would be your preference. And in listening to the audio version, um, it will go through the various books Clicking on the arrow on the top left, the down-facing arrow takes you back to the Bible. Uh, you can select different versions. Let's say by clicking on the NIV on the right, you bring up this list of different options. The uh, ASV, ESV, NLT, for example. Um, and you can select one of those if you prefer to read the Bible in that version. Devotionals are available for you to go through a reading plan by clicking on the uh, calendar looking icon. And that reading plan that's available will take you through the Bible in a year with the rest of people at Lakeview who are using it. Again, going back to the main Bible screen by clicking on the arrow on the top left. There are weekly devotionals that come out and you can access those from the devotional icon on the bottom. The Monday devotional, the reading written devotional that comes out, you can access or the video devotionals you can access. So for example, if I click on the Monday devotional blog, I'm taken to that and I can read through one of the devotionals that has been previously published. The next step icon in the bottom allows you to um, request information or to request to be part of um, an activity such as getting baptized, becoming a member, serving. If you select one of these next step areas, you're presented with a screen where you'd fill in information. And the information that you fill in when you submit this is sent to the office and someone in the office will then contact you to follow up on this. Again, clicking on the arrow on the top left will take you back to the main screen. So that's how you navigate through the application 
To access more of the information in the application, you would want to log in. You do that by, by tapping on the uh, three barred icon on the top left. It gives you the option to do a login. And when you are taken to this, you select the mechanism that you want to use for logging in. So if you say continue with email, uh, if you've not set up an account before for the app, they will ask you to sign up. You will need to sign up, fill out some information, create a password, etc., and then create the account. Uh, if you have created an account in the past, and then you wanted to just log in, you would use the login screen to access uh, the application, more information in the application, more details such as directory and messaging. So I'll come back later after having logged in and show you some of those additional options that you might have.